Yeah, we're making our way through long, though. Ready, Slax is taking a duel with his PT-50 long range, and he'll win that toward Kixan. Marix did take aid kit on that aggression toward mid, but will they be aware of Casanito as well? Molotov will come in, but look at that. Casanito runs down Spiddy. That was so fast. Slax needs to get this kill. He's going to be under pressure from two different angles as Styles push pushes through the smoke. Bomb can go down. But now it's all suddenly down to stare and out of nowhere. There's nobody left. Two for Casanito, two for Styles. Sprout will be happy with the bomb plant. But that was a very quick retake. Aid kit, Danny and Stars all here. Stars can actually switch off the scout as well. I believe there's a gun dropped in spawn for him. Or a different gun, but actually maybe not. I think it's maybe just a, bit, just a pistol behind that I actually saw there, so perhaps not. Marix has got the off angle. Stale will get one, but Marix, though, should be doing all the work here. Gets another bit of damage through the smoke as well. And Spiddy's gone, a, gone on a smart big flash. From short, he will get one kill, but when he expect the sight player, he does now and actually hits the spray toward Kessanito. Kessanito will be disgusted that he hasn't taken that kill. Kickstand's still here, though, and does do a lot of damage to Rawls. Spiddy's now finally to help out, and because of that, he has to fall back to long. He will get taken down, but the trade's still coming in. Counter Molotov comes in from Styles, and it burns down the bomb planter. But they're in mid boost, and it, they will get caught by Slacks. What a pick that is from Slacks. And it's all down to Spiddy. It's a peek from Khan. Pounce on this pretty quickly. It's going to be a mid to B. This grenade should find Slacks, and it will. And they can possibly go for a boost on the CT box coming in here. That could catch one player. And it will. Casanito finds Rawls as he tries to make his way through the B doors. And Danny now in position with the AWP should be enough to get Blue Jays off the board in their buy rounds. They must really do answer back for a couple, but aid kit. Oh, that's a spicy flick. Could have easily got, gotten caught out there. No, it's Spiddy 1v3. Picks for the first, gets the kill. Waiting for the reface by Danny. And of course, he doesn't want to because he's so low. Block comes out and kicks and comes in the same position. They are going to try and make their way toward the A side, and the counter flash is brilliant. Spiddy gives Slacks an opening, and look at Rawls lurking in from short. Incredibly, out of nowhere, it's a 3v3. Rawls' lurk is perfect as he's a low HP player. It makes total sense to do that. And he's doing even more work as well, and Stahl is in such a rough spot to actually get this frag. Kixan needs one here. Will take the low HP? I tell a lie, he does, but yeah. It will be Spiddy to immediately trade it. And Styles 1v2 with an AWP. He does have a kit, which is why he's sticking around to look for this one. He's going to get caught from below by Spiddy. And Sprout are looking very and I do hope to be back for the fifth place decider bracket as well later this evening. Slax gets a nice entry towards short there. A kit goes down. Good trade from Casanito. And there's Styles doing good work again. Catch one frag back. Another advantage, advantageous situation for Blue Jays. 4v3. But they're stuck on the site right now. I guess we get both. But he only gets one. And Danny does great work there to get both those two kills. Probably seals around. Because look where Kickstan is. But he isn't going to expect that one. Aid kick is a good opening pick. That takes down the raid boss of Spiddy. And finally, Blue Jays now have a 5v3 to work with, work with. Rather than just a 5v4. Nice one from Casanito. Aggression towards short. While that pick came in toward long. And this is a good... This is a good start for them. It's like it's going to be flashed in towards short. But Casanito's playing the cubby nicely. And that should seal a fifth round. They've won every duel so far on this one. Sprout have sort of peaked one by one. But at the same time, they wouldn't have known that they were going one by one, basically. Because of the angles being held. Stair gets two back, but needs three more on the ace in total to win out the round. Could cap tap down Kickstan if Kickstan's not careful. Okay. He's out of bullets. Four left. Spots one player and spots the second, but short. I think Sprout are aware of this, though. Slax is in position. In comes the first bit of utility. Gets the first tap. Needs a couple more, though. They're going to get swarmed if they're not careful. Rotations have come in. He's wasted the time down quite nicely. Styles does trade Slax down, though. Now it's all down to Riles. But he's here to help now as well. And the taps are all coming through for Sprout. Good find. An aid kit was the long con flank that just can't get into the action. Spots Marix toward Carr. Even, I think, dinks him through the floor there for, like, two health. Pretty sure.
It's basically in between a rock and a hard place. Speedy, of course, not wanting to give up his life because he knows Marix is low. Marix is playing the headshot position in pit anyway. And he'll get that to it by the looks of things. There is one player toward long. He won't be in the action quick that quickly. That is Stare. Now they can go for the peak. Spiddy on the corner. Once again, playing the same position as Slack's played, but he's got low HP players to face. He does get one, but not two. Slacks does a really important job, though, in taking one with the scout, and that means, again, the bomb can be planted for short. Castanito is in basically a carbon copy repeat of the previous round, a low HP orb towards short. He's going for a long flank. This could be a brilliant call. Raz is not looking for it just yet. And there we go. Gets the kill. Speedy's kit has not been recovered. Time is now a big issue. And it's a scout on a retake. They're going to have to hurry up here. Slax is going to go for the peak. This kit is directly in front of them. So they're going to have time to work with. And there's one. Great pick from Slax. And there's Stair finding Danny. What a humongous round that is for Sprout. Great attempt from Blue Jays. But again, they have a huge amount of money means they can keep going for the buy and they will do just that but the counter flashes toward long are so good and Spiddy's once again got himself a multi-frag round three kills for him it's all Casanito left there's one minute 30 in the round and there's one player left Spiddy 22 to 11 a clean 2 KD Casanito has to somehow win an impossible clutch. And Marix will flash back. Marix will take stars out of the round as well. Sprout edging ever closer to 15 in a best of three against Forza incoming. Let's take Danny as well. I'm sort of going one by one now, I think, and it's not really working out for them very much. Destiny does take Spiddy, but 2v4. If they can get one entry on the B something there's a chance. I think they're actually going for that duel. What a spin to find Marix, actually. Well, he's here, and he'll get both kills. The insurance man wins his duel, but Slacks, or oh, the burning is coming in. That's going to do a lot of damage to Stars, and he, they know he's in that cubby. But they're just peaking Slacks at the moment, and it's just too easy for the Orpa of Sprout. Sounds going to get blinded as well. I can't do much with that. Slax does, does get taken down low, but they can't really afford to swing him anymore. They have to keep three players up. Danny will reveal himself, and I think that might have actually shown the bomb toward the B site as well. Fantastic grenade comes in toward the feet too. Takes him down to 20 HP. Spiddy taking Casanito. Could be the third nail. Just two more to hammer down on Blue Jays hopes. They have one more qualifier left, don't forget. One more qualifier in this RMR. So they can go again. They only have 30 HP between the two of them. With 25 seconds left, it should be a cleanup for the B player of Riles. They have to make a call, Blue Jays say that you can't just sit and yeah, you can't you can't just sit and go down. The bomb has to go in. There's 14 seconds to go. Riles knows it. Three, two, and one. Riles hits the headshot. Didn't even need to be one. And they will be Sprout going through to the next round. Blue Jays fall by the wayside at the final hurdle once again, I'm afraid. Nice try.